Welcome to the Wings Event Center and the Kalamazoo Curling Club in Kalamazoo, Michigan for the 2023 USA Curling Mixed Doubles National Championship. We are headed in to draw 10. There's four games on the ice tonight. Our feature match will be TC Dropkin versus Anderson Richardson and uh, my name is Ann Swisshelm. Thank you for joining us tonight. There are uh, there's our athletes Corey TC, Corey Dropkin. They are at 4 and 0 oh, and they're playing Taylor Anderson and Ben Richardson. This is a pretty key game for Anderson Richardson. They sit at 2 and 2. I'm happy to be joined in the booth tonight by Tony Cott. Good night, Tony. How's it going? It's going great, Ann. Thanks for having me. I'm excited to see some good curling. Yeah, and we have seen good curling and great curling all week at the Wings Event Center here. And uh, this is the third of three arenas USA Curling has used for its championship events. And this is the home to the Kalamazoo Curling Club and the ice conditions have been fantastic all week. It makes for really fun curling. And with Thiessen, uh, Corey TC and uh, Corey Dropkin playing so well, uh, we're gonna see those great shots. And taking a look at the other pool standings, Persinger implies in full control at five and zero. Oh. Gavin Schuster, Hamil Gavin Schuster, Hamilton, Hamilton, Rhyme Smith at three and two. It is a pool you are in, and you sit at two and three with Burr, Burr, Moores, Wheeler, and then uh, Rohrbacher and Skevy are still looking for that first elusive win. Tony, uh, you're still very much in the mix here. Is this exciting for you to watch tonight? I, it's it's absolutely great to see. I love I love the tight field. The the competition is ramping up here towards the end of the week. Uh, everyone's kind of getting eyes dialed in and. Um, a, a lot of the scores and a lot of the games have been a lot closer than the scores indicate. Yeah, and uh, taking a look at our pool tonight that all of these athletes are on the ice tonight. Uh, TC and Dropkin, full control, 4-0 and so far, followed closely by Anderson, Stapera, Strauss, and Casper. And then we've got Anderson, Richardson, Nickel, Nickel, sitting at 2-2. Two and two. Uh, uh, Bookout, Weeza, Podal, Perry, and I missed the last one. Uh, Mulaney Sinet. That's right. Sydney Mullaney and Chase Sinet fighting through this pool. They've all got three games left, every one of them very critical. And here in the opening stones of this 10th draw, it's the fifth game for this pool by virtue of the draw shot challenge. You see and drop can have the hammer. Ben Richardson. It looks like there's a little bit of room. One of the key shots we've seen here all week is getting those opening stones welded on to the rocks and the button. I think in these first couple ends, I don't know about you, Ann, but uh, what we've seen is just once you get these dialed in, it's, you know, sometimes you just got to figure out your draw path. You got to figure out uh, which lanes track the best and doing all that stuff. So then that way you can make those clutch shots later in the game. Yeah, and this opening end is always a little bit of a challenge because you spend so much of your practice working the other direction, playing that draw for hammer to the home end. So this going away, the paths aren't quite as worked in. So you get maybe a little bit of over curl or you tend to overthrow them is what I've noticed. So there's a little bit of a bounce off. Corey must like it a little bit if he's not sweeping or it's really heavy. 
Oh, there yeah. she goes. Yeah, there, once it starts Whoa. to curl, close. the weight is close. These rocks really have a beautiful finish to them. Want to freeze this one? So that may have been a little heavier than they wanted because it didn't quite get all the way uh, to square of the shot stone for Anderson Richardson. Yeah, I think you just want to like a little bit tighter. I don't think they were looking to move them as much as they wanted to, but I still think priority number one, they still got some good angles set up and set up here for a good end. You can already see uh, Sarah take or Taylor, excuse me, Taylor taking more ice than what she did in the last end, just to the case in point of what you just mentioned. Where? Wait, it's close. Top four. Okay, needs to curl. Just top four. Looks like it's running, needs to curl a ton. Wait, it's close, might wanna go. So, a little bit. Always curl, always curl, just here. A little bit of sweeping Wait, only. No straight, straight. They go from a ton of room okay. to straight so often on this ice. I think it's something for uh, the curlers at bad. home to listen to. Sorry, really this championship quality down. ice no, you, with you that much finish, that much curl um, at the end. Um, maybe don't mind it's the really, run. it's yeah. really just something. It's uh, Tony, how are you finding yeah. it to play? It, you know, uh, very similar. The the finish on these stones is so tremendous that I do find that the button is open. You know, you're almost like the button is open at any point in time. Like even even in this particular shot, like there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of room there in the field of play options. It doesn't look like it on the camera, but I promise you, you can you can get one in there. Yeah, and uh, Corey Drobkin looking to make even more room, electing to yep. throw the run back here. Yep, hard. Is that a surprise for anyone though, for Corey to throw some up weight? I think Corey, Corey loves the, as Tyler would say, yeah. the high hard one. Yeah, I mean, uh, they are very, they look very confident throwing that run back. Uh, they come out every night, late night practice, they match your stones and then they throw a couple of run backs. So um, Corey and Corey are very much dialed in to the rocks and uh, how they're moving. And I think you can see that in the record, four and oh. Absolutely, and then, you know, when you when you have a record like that too, you might be able to take a little bit of chance you know, maybe maybe throw up that hit earlier than what you would normally would. Wait, it's close. Uh, just something Where to manage the game top just four. a little bit differently when you do have a lead. Right, just um, top but four. let's not, Always you know, curl. I guarantee you that Corey and Corey are not taking to Anderson it. Richardson Wait, it's good. Uh, lightly at all, especially all how long that these guys have been curling good. on this top level. Just frozen on the road. Yeah, and these are both new straight. parents for straight, both straight, of straight, these straight, teams. Straight, 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 straight. It's a great point. They bring all of the skills from, uh, I believe all four of them have been to Youth Olympic Games, uh, Junior Worlds, uh, you know, uh, men's and women's worlds. Uh, really, there's a, just a ton of experience and talent out there. And to see these teams combined, pretty exciting combinations for USA curling. Sounds like they're just kind of following in some footsteps I may be sitting right next to, but we'll, we'll, get, in, we'll get into that a little bit later. But, uh, but yeah, you could, I mean, I think yeah. they're setting up here for no, a pretty a decent spot. shot here as well, looking to move some stones. They're going to straight pick it. And then I just freeze. Yeah. Or I could just nose for Either that. freeze or nose. I yeah, don't mind either so one. Yeah, so like conversation, yeah. we've got uh, pretty great feedback coming from the athletes on the ice wearing the microphones, allowing us into their decision-making process and yep. uh, their thoughts. Yep. Dropkin TC Hard. trying to pick the stone Hard. off the button. <laughs> and they do. And with that, wow. they're sitting one and two. Nice Good job. How was this? Yeah. Oh, yeah. The button is a pretty small place in the in the grand Taylor, scheme of we curling, can also do this but in mixed doubles what kind it of is uh it looks Board. like a lot of real estate that right the, now in this particular position it is uh, there's a lot of room right there and no one's i know that corey just kind of picked that one out but he they're also very aware that there is still a shot there for taylor to kind of sit and hide underneath it yeah uh i think They've switched gears and they're going to play a little bit of a tap. 
got an either or situation Close. here. Yep. Solid. Yes. Whoa. 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 Solid board. Clean. Yep. Solid. Yep. Whoa. Curl. Curl. Ah, good throw, Tay. Oh, sorry. Yeah, by electing to switch to that top yeah, shot, yeah, yeah. Um, I think they so may have made related. this so. shot a little bit easier really for uh, Corey T C. Maybe nine five. Nine five like yeah, right I think here. the Yeah. You know, just yep. like a little I mean, you can hit either one and I think still it's just gonna kind of pick out the double. I mean, just as long as it's hit on that quarter side of the stone. They're so even that it's gonna should be a pretty pretty self explanatory hit here, sit two. Yeah. I think this will come up a bit. You like that idea? I think so. Middle of that court? Yeah. I think it'll come up, don't it'll you? Come up. Yeah. It's a nice nine five. Yep. So this is good. the super challenge throwing that final stone, you've thrown you you don't get that one, two, three in a row oh. that uh, the Close. middle player gets. Yep. The one in five Whoa. rocks are islands unto themselves. Whoa, and, yep, uh, yep, yep. Corey TC has no trouble. Great shot. Setting up uh, the score of two in the opening end. Nice sweep. Nice work. TC Dropkin. Two. Anderson Richardson will have the hammer in the second end. Is your curling club website clunky and unworkable? Are you tired of your club relying on social media because your website just does not work for your members? Finally, the curling management software your club has been waiting for is here. Check out Warm Room Hero at curling.club today. Welcome back. Thanks for joining us. We are in the second end. Corey TC, Corey Dropkin up to over Taylor Anderson and Ben Richardson. Almost in a must win situation for Anderson Richardson. Uh, it's, it's not quite that, but uh, to hold control, you want to have a winning record. They sit at two and two. Uh, very critical game. My name is Ann Swisshelm, and I'm joined tonight by Tony Cott, who is playing in the other pool. So on your off night, you're Ooh, here. Uh, time off. Yeah, on your time off, you're talking curling um, because that's what curlers do. Amen to that. Well, you know, I think one of the biggest things, too, is uh, not just be here calling the game, but actually supporting these guys. I've seen them around, you know, traveling with them throughout the qualifying process and nationals and stuff. In fact, uh, Nate and Ann over there on Sheet D were actually sharing an Airbnb with them. Oh, so, that's yeah, great. so it's fun. That's great. And how did you guys qualify, Tony? What was the route that you took to uh, to be here? Yeah, that's a that's a great question. Um, obviously, there's a couple of WCT points uh, qualifiers that we participated in. Uh, the first one for my partner and I, Melissa, uh, Melissa Fountain, it was actually our first year to even consider playing in competitive mixed doubles. And actually Taylor and Ben, uh, Ben actually came down with COVID right before the Colorado cup. And so that was at our home club 
And so Sean and Mimi Stevenson kind of threw us in the, threw us in the game and we got to win like our first mixed doubles tournament ever. We got to win. So it was, it was that's, awesome. That's pretty great. Yeah. And, uh, your home club or the rock Creek curling club, uh, out in Colorado, uh, such a great partner with USA curling hosted, uh, not only your qualifying event, but the U18 national championship. Yep, I mean, okay. uh, what a place One it's more. only in its second season and it is, full, full, full of uh, yep, great go. events yep, and great curlers like yourself, go. Tony. Hard, you go yeah, it's, um, it's coming around for sure. We've seen, uh, we've this seen year, a lot year, of improvement year, from, so you know, just beginner skips. We run, Mimi and Sean do a great job running intro leagues uh, right next to each other. Uh, but yeah, it's a great facility. Most definitely one maybe to come hair, check out if you're ever in the Colorado area. Nice. Yeah, and uh, the great facility here in Kalamazoo is, Definitely, definitely uh, heating up. We may have a winter storm on the way, but uh, the storm is uh, outside. Hot. We're hot with curling on the inside. No yeah. doubt. Most well, the, definitely. Uh, I, I will say, you know, being a competitor and being here, the facility is fantastic. Don't get me wrong, but that is comes second to none to the volunteers. The volunteers here, the ice crew, uh, the officials, all that stuff has just been top notch. Very welcoming and uh, we've enjoyed every minute of it. Oh, that's fantastic to hear. Mm -hmm. A little roll, or just straight no. So, Ben Richardson, the way these guys throw and jump up, there's a couple of different styles of play that come, that happen in mixed doubles, and you'll see um, most of the athletes out on the ice in this game, they throw, jump up, and right. sweep their own stones. Same way. It is Let's so physical. It is, uh, it's a pretty fast game, but when you are uh, throwing three, sweeping, uh, sweeping five, like Corey Dropkin does uh, a lot of the time, it's uh, just an amazingly physical, fast paced version of curling. Really super slide, super steady here. Hits the release point at the hog line, Ryan's jumps nice. up, follows his own. It's <laughs> just, it's just awesome. I mean, the Ryan's evolution really of nice. just this, this format it. alone has always just Babe. been something to watch. To this guy is just making everyone else look bad. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Mine's nice. Close. Close. Whoa, whoa. A little rub. <laughs> A double little. rub. Sorry, I didn't think we were hitting that one. This is the aspect for me and the part that I love about the game. It's just not the it's not just the next shot, but you can hear them calling like what they're gonna do, what they're predicting that the other team's gonna do. Um, and that's where you just gotta take your game to the next level. Yeah, and this is next level stuff. Yeah, With yeah. each successive rock, right? I I mean if you make, not only uh, if you have an error in your throw, but if you have an error in your calling, it can be like 14, just nine. so punitive. There's only there's only five stones. Yeah. yeah. Every every stone is crucial in mixed doubles, <laughs> um, and you know with the opportunities, and that's the reason why you know ensuring yeah, your deuce or two points is is big time, and I think that's what Taylor and Ben are. Plan, trying to plan out and predict quarter. out. So with a good shot here, they're actually set up really nice to get that deuce. This is really moving at that guard. Oh, go, go, go. Right. you're gonna hold a really good angle. Go, 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 go. Okay. Really nice, opened it up. It's not bad. Kind of what they predicted, knowing they'd like leave. It. Yeah. Corey and Corey, a uh, similar shot. Corey always looks at that right. run back. Yeah, 100%, <laughs> always. Just a tap. Sit like right on nose here. Yeah. Just back eight, back 12. We played against them in one of the other qualifiers that we played in down in Charlotte. Shout out to the Charlotte Curling Club. But the um, he did three of those against me and my partner. And we, I mean, and, and one to end the game. 
I was, this, it was dirty. <laughs> Dealing with dirty. And uh, yeah, by dirty, you mean amazing. Oh, yeah, a well, thousand percent. <laughs> yeah. Really expert line calling from uh, Corey TC. She gets the uh, enviable job of uh, yeah. holding the brush and yeah. making yeah, sure her, like, uh, all of Corey's work feel, is focused yeah, and uh, I have to hit it pretty thin. perfect. Yeah. Just watching the show. Yeah. She good. does. She does so good though. I mean, her. I mean. Corey Dropkin would not be able to do what he does without TC dropping in those first I stones. Like I mean, just clutch. That first stone in mixed doubles, being able to weld that onto their set stone is something that will change the change that uh, whole spectrum of the strategy for that particular end. Yeah, and now it's going to be up to uh, Ben to try and clean that up a little bit. And up weight, <laughs> trying just... A hit it as thin as possible, kind of slash across the face, over curls, wrecks on the guard. Shoot. And just like that, yeah. the, the chase become the chaser. Uh, Corey and Corey trying to decide So this is one of the subtle differences, I think, between mixed doubles and traditional fours curling. Yeah, in fours curling, years, you would like hit all day. Uh, 1,000 yeah. percent. Uh, and if it, do you think it mixed that doubles, back, right? your if last we, rock, I mean, the yeah. amount of time okay. that they they elect yeah. to throw these yeah, very precise just, placement draw slash okay. guards, it's, it's the so, whole game. You're about a quarter into the 12. Do you think that's close? Maybe a hair more? Okay. If we okay and corner freeze in the yellow, that's not bad. So the discussion back and forth between um, the teammates, just making sure both of them are on the same page. Give me a hair light. Mine's okay. Mine's nice. Corey TC still doing her job. Really she nice. follows super close. Mine's great, Corey. In an arena like this, it's really, really clutch to do that just because the, the sound carries close, from other sheets. Sometimes it's hard to hear your partner, oh. but they're doing a great job communicating. Great shot. That, I don't know what better would be, but that that was pretty solid. Yeah, that's pretty great good. Great yeah. Great Wasn't looking pretty for a little while. No, it was not. And Calm, cool leadership from Ben Richardson there. You're just drawing to the pin. Yeah. yeah. And, yeah. I mean, that is the shot you've been playing and throwing. Um, what a wonderful uh, communic communication from Ben to Taylor. I don't know either. Yeah, that's what you want from your teammate. Just something, just a little bit assuring, just knowing that you got the right call, the confidence in the fact that you know the line, you know the weight. Mm -hmm. Um, just go do it and let's move on to the next end. Yes, are you forced to one? That's not ideal. But um, at the same time, you're on the scoreboard, first two ends. Um, and like we mentioned, mixed doubles being so vulnerable to high ends, uh, see if they can produce a multi-point end later down the road. So with it being a little heavy, Championship ice can cause a little bit of problem it. with it being straight, it. but a super sweep from Ben. Ooh. Oh, it, and it's still a steal. So oh. close for Taylor, but uh, I believe it ended up being one red. And there it is. It's confirmed one red. Corey TC, Corey Dropkin. Three points to none over Anderson and Richardson. They'll retain the hammer in the third end.
the 2023 Mixed Doubles National Championships. Uh, we are in a really tight battle. The score is in favor three to nothing for TC and Dropkin. Uh, Anderson and Richardson were millimeters away from uh, from scoring that point in the uh, second end. It's still very early. So the call to draw to the set stone in the back of the forefoot was really well executed. Again, TC and Drobgen managing that rock all the way down the sheet. There's no silence between the two of them when they have control of the ice. They are constantly discussing, around. sharing information. Whoa. Where is it? I think when Whoa. you are so curls, at you this go. particular level, I mean, that's what it takes, right? You gotta, 14, you gotta sit seven. there and be able to communicate Whoa. to each other, know exactly what they're Whoa. saying. And, um, you know, that way you Good can shot, ultimately just execute shot. every shot. Right. The silence yep. to me either is a perfect shot <laughs> or a complete miss. Yeah. So Taylor, Taylor might have gotten a little quiet on that one, but that's because she threw a perfect shot. Oh, I am not afraid to tell Mel, but I, I got nothing. <laughs> Mine's nice. Oh, man. Uh, have we run across the oh, sheets yeah. yet? Uh, looks like over there room. on E, back-to-back yeah. -back three banger. So three, right three for Strauss, Casper, Anderson, still okay, down though. there. That's, Mine's gonna that's be good. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So checking in on all the yep. sheets. Yep. Uh, Mulaney yep. Sinnott down one point um, in their game, and then we've got our feature game on sheet C, sheet D. We've got Nickel Nickel versus Podal Perry. Nickel oh Nickel God. coming out strong early with a 5 oh, nothing no. lead on like, Podal back, Perry. Yeah, back and back, as yeah, we said, like we've got uh, Strauss, Casper, three. And then to update that line score, Anderson Stapera came back with a three in the second end. Wow. Don't leave us, yeah. but if you need it, to, all of those games are available on uh USA Curling's YouTube channel. So this great technology from Curling Stadium allowing us to have all of these games. Back eight. Partnering with USA Curling. Back eight. It's, uh, well, yeah. Back it's eight. truly awesome Smart. for it, Curling fans. Uh, it's a game changer. <laughs> well, the... Um, the other awesome technology that they have is that we actually have the ability to chat live in the chat room on YouTube. So if there's a question for us or if there's a if there's a reason or something that you want yeah. to talk about on the chat, you know, feel free to fill in, get involved. Might have been a uh, we are an intrinsic feedback kind of duo <laughs> here. So that's what, that's what we like okay. to call ourselves. Yeah, um, we would be happy to answer any questions. And we've got a kind of uh, unique perspectives. I've been involved in the game since I was okay. 10 years old. So yeah. that's, that's now a yeah. couple thousand okay. decades at this point. And uh, okay. uh, Tony, are you relatively no, good, new to the game? To I am actually, yeah. yeah. I'm, uh, I'm four years new to the game. Uh, I guess, yeah. you know, technically this is my fifth season. Um, so com my last five U season probably coming down to this. I guess I get one more with the COVID year if I if I uh, okay. come down to it. But yeah, uh, full disclosure, if I'm being 100% completely honest, I did have to Wikipedia yeah. yourself. Yeah, <laughs> I, I looked her up. Yeah, saw we, all I mean, the accomplishments. I'm just do wondering you, what that leads Do you us. have room left for this any more hardware? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'll take all the hardware we can get. Right? I mean, I'm there here this week <laughs> as a, yeah. as a proud coach that, of this one? one of the teams yeah, and a huge yeah. fan of That's curling and USA curling and in like particular this. Yeah. this mixed doubles format. 
It's just fantastic. It brings new curlers to the game like you, like yep. and it rewards you like that? You know, I, I like years of work and or talent like the four athletes we see out there right now. I don't now. think the angles are great for um, that. In kind of a, just a different way than their, than their traditional fours game. Um, you see maybe a little bit more personality. So Ben, who plays front end most of the time, you wouldn't necessarily see him involved in a they ton of the more. discussions. Right. And yep. now we've got him clearly showing his leadership ability and uh, partnering with Taylor in this first year. And, you know, what a really great partnership. Ford. But they're in a little bit of a pickle here. Yeah, they're, <laughs> yeah, they're chasing. They're, oh. yeah. This is going to be Ford. interesting. See Easy how they board. handle this. Yep. Um, let's see if they're yep. going to just be happy Inside with race. the... Yep. With the one point here, or I, I really don't know too many, but that's a great, a great outcome with a little bit of spin-off roll right there. Um, might be shot. That's the bit. I, I think it's red. What do you, what do you think? These cameras are a little deceiving. So I know. I never like to. I never like to guess. Um, I like the excitement of the measure. Yeah. Uh, oh. I like That's the excitement of the measure, but uh, especially as a broadcaster. But He's probably right playing now, this next, right? I, so I like. You're thinking yellow, if you aren't get you? Get all the way in here. That messes that it, up. I think it's one red in the back, but. Um, they know that that's not going to stay there yeah, for very long. Yeah, <laughs> 100%, right? Yeah, if it is one red, they all know it's not going to stay know. there for very long. But uh, I, it also, it, in mixed doubles, I think it's a clear cut. Well, in any curling, Get honestly, right? If it's sitting shot rock, I mean, you got to yep. deal with it. So uh, let's see what Corey does here. Constant strategy. That's the other thing too. Yeah. So Corey's down here in the hack, yeah. looking at it, you know, and I think that hey. you know potentially could change ultimately the shot, you know, just based on what he can see, what he can't see, or you right. know, maybe even calling out a second second option if you know maybe the rock over curls or oh, weights a little bit off. Yeah, and I think I think one of the things that, that happens right when now. you're out there making that decision is what was your goal at the beginning of this end? Oh. I mean, That's a great point. So oh. I think. Uh, for well, TC and Dropkin, their goal was probably to force a single point out of Anderson Richardson. Close, close. And yep. then, uh, yep. you know, yes. with that go, tick go, on go. the guard and a missed shot, then maybe all of a sudden it Ooh, goes to steal. And then you go down there and you see your opportunity. <laughs> so like now it. it is definitely a steal opportunity. Worked out really well. Yeah, tough spot right here, um, especially when <laughs> you're yeah, forced you to make the slash double. Like the only shot <laughs> yeah. that you see is a slash double. That's uh, it's not a good spot to be in. Yeah, I like it. Good call. I have seen Ben make a couple of these though. <laughs> you know, yeah. throughout the throughout the year, especially he made one at the U.S. Men's level? Nationals. So um in denver that. one and every it just kind of left everyone speechless like everyone was just like wow did you <laughs> and uh he, he's most definitely got it in him so let's see what happens yeah ben is throwing with a ton of confidence and just real precision i hope this isn't a commentator's jinx yeah <laughs> uh -oh. i mean all season Ruh -ruh. oh yeah so uh -huh. he needs a look at that pretty... oh did wow. they change the angles enough to give them something on their next one, on their last? We are. Oh, what a great shot. Yeah. Just like you were talking about, like, right you're, when you were talking about what's your goal at the beginning of the end, like, what's your goal? What's the priority of this number one, of this shot? And I think that he accomplished that by removing both those back reds. Yeah. I do. So we heard from Ben, he thinks that uh, the opposition is shot, that uh, TC and Dropkin are shot. So. What's that? Halfway. Yeah, you Ben already working through um, all of their options. Halfway into the 12s for ice? You know this better than I do. Okay. I think that'll be close. 
her more, if anything? Halfway. So the final rock okay. for Corey and Corey. They're just looking still. to create some traffic, yep. a hazard out in. front of the rings. Take that path. Yep. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Great shot, Corey. Really nice. So, uh... Tough options for Anderson Richardson. I think. Go raise, maybe? She's got the slash. Yeah, I think it's risky. only for one. If you can, yeah, this is. You want to talk on. about a shot. <laughs> no hesitation whatsoever. Like, she's like, oh, here you go. And this is it. And then a little less ice just to make sure that she's making the shot that she wants. Gets up, starts sweeping. Whoa. 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 Curl. Looking for the curl. Curl. Already got it. Right to it. Oh, my. Oh, oh. what a shot. She makes the slash. <laughs> and uh, no steal. Uh, that is a fantastic shot from Taylor Anderson for one. Probably oh, needed a hair, hit a hair thinner on that, maybe. Twin Cities Orthopedics is ready to go with more doctors, specialty services, and convenient urgent care locations. Ready, set, TCO. We're in a pretty heated battle here. It's DC. Oh, I got to get Corey's name right. DC Dropkin. I keep combining the names um, uh, against Anderson Richardson. It's a three to one battle. The Corys have hammer here in the fourth end. Taylor Anderson wants to make that freeze. Ben Richardson on the brush right away. So um, we asked for some uh, questions, yeah. Some questions in the chat, and Tony, you uh, do we have some? Yeah, looking at this here, and this one is actually directed at you. It's asking you since uh, your playing career, have you been to any Olympics as a spectator? Second part of this question is, if not, do you have any plans to do so? And the third part is, do you follow the summer games at all? Do you have a favorite summer sport, Nate? Well, let's see, I have been at, uh, so my last Olympics was 2014 in Sochi, Russia. I have been at the next two Olympics as a broadcaster, so in 18 and 2022 in Beijing. And uh, so I've been at many of them. Uh, my, I did attend the Summer Olympic Games in Rio. Um, I was working and uh, I also got to go as a fan. It was pretty awesome. I saw the inaugural uh, golf oh, in um, the modern, um, in the kind of the new uh, full metal sport uh, for women's golf. I went uh, to the opening round on the opening day. It was pretty exciting. Um, I also got to watch uh, the team handball gold medal match. And Get out. I watched USA women win the gold medal in basketball. It was uh, pretty awesome 
awesome in Rio, and I plan mm-hmm. on being in Paris for the next uh, Summer Olympics. I don't know why you wouldn't. And yeah. uh, it sure would be great to go to Italy for the Winter Games. Uh, I mean, because Italy, you know. But yeah, I get it. Yeah, absolutely coming down to the end here. But the um, uh, when you are talking about uh, summer sports there, uh, would you would you say golf is your number one? Like, if you went there, would it be golf be number one? Like, I your don't... track, a swimming? Like, I mean, USA is big in swimming. I don't know Honestly, uh, the Olympics there. are so great that even a sport that you don't know about, that you aren't exactly yeah. connected to, uh, brings you in, pulls you in. And you can go as a kind of a Patriot fan and just cheer sure. for your country, or you can cheer for great sport, which um, across uh, so many of uh, the Olympic disciplines, winter and summer, they're just great sports. Um, Paris is going to have a new sport added to the uh to the docket, it's called breaking. I it is no a idea. full metal uh, sport called breaking. Uh, if you guys want to check that out, it is essentially competitive freestyle break dancing. Oh, let's go! All yeah. right. <laughs> so, uh, when I go to Paris, I really hope to catch the breaking event. Bringing it, bringing a strong vibe, just like Corey, just bringing the strong, just draw weight to this game right here and just putting one almost right on the lid yeah putting them in a prime position here setting up the angle i think that's you know one of the things that you also mentioned is just like once those rocks get in a particular angle it makes those rocks hard to remove it makes those hard rocks hard to make a play on and you are sitting in a really nice position when you're looking at red stones right now yeah um you know we we use a lot of esoteric language and that's we, fair. we use a lot of esoteric language. So when Tony and I are talking, uh, we say we say things like, uh, you know, shot rock. And we, I saw that we had a question about what is shot rock. Yeah. So shot rock. Um, and, you know, it's, it's so funny. We use it so casually. <laughs> and so we, we are so automatic with it as language. Uh, I think we're there. Shot rock is the stone closest to the center of the button. Freeze the back one. The scoring rock. Whoa, 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 whoa. So, Freeze the yellow. Um, Right Whoa. now, that Whoa. is the one red stone. And now it's questionable. <laughs> <laughs> now it may be, Shot Rock may be uh, that yellow stone just thrown by Ben Richardson. Wow, what a shot. How pre- I mean, that's just precision at its finest right there. I mean, there's literally one place that you put it. You, you can put that stone and have it sit shot rock over that red. I mean, cause that's truly how great that, that shot was by Corey Dropkin on that yeah. last, and that last rock and Ben just filled it up. Yeah. You're seeing great shot followed by great shot. And, uh, so now, uh, Corey's going to need another super precise, rock placement here just weld right to the inside (laughs) good night that is incredible now i think it's red but I think it's guard. yellow close second for yeah, sure. Any, any hit on those. I mean, this, and that's what we're talking, and that's what you were talking about, Ann. Sorry, like with the shot rock. I Currently mean, right now, red said shot rock. Play this with some uh, when we were talking about that one in the last out, end where we're sitting in the back of the house and we knew it wasn't going to sure. sit there. Uh, that shot rock will change from time to time, especially mixed doubles, right? It's going to be, it's just, this is set up to be a, uh, who knows what's gonna happen? My first here. I'd love to say. Guard. Like if we peel this. You know what? This is gone. I'm this just gonna say yellow steals one. Steals How about down. that? That, yeah, that I mean that's a most definitely a low percentage guess here, but I mean I, I, I would love to see yellow far. steal one right here. Just, like, yeah, it would make. I mean obviously you'd love that when you're when you're calling a game when you're watching a game you're rooting for a tight line score. Yeah. But but the the trick about curling is I think I like we talk about that. shot rock okay. getting shot 
Because I think there's a good chance we can. You don't spin need this to be shot every time. At least these you need to be shot right. after Great your point. last I stone. I think peel just so that we try so, to get this out. Uh, I think this will just go right. The two Corys, TC and Dropkin, have got this set up if you think where that, then we should they, just when they throw their last rock, they can throw okay. run back okay. on just either of the yellow stones, drive it straight into the pile, the angles, likely easily take one, maybe if you hit it right set yourself up for three or four. And so the key shot for Anderson Richardson right now, giving them some protection either from that second count yellow stone here, so like sitting the on the left edge of the button as we look at it. Like you mean uh, redstone, right? Well, yeah. no, oh, no, they're oh, trying yeah. to protect they're, their own. They're trying yeah, to only touche, give right? up one right yeah. now. Touche, yeah. yeah. I mean, one, I think that one, Taylor and Ben see easy, that they're in early. a very Line's okay. difficult World position. Line's good. And so Over their and goal is going to be to hold them, Over and off, Tay. the opposition, Whoa. the red stones, to a single point right now. Well, let it come down. And that's why you see the high guard. So, Ooh. oh, and it just over curls. Ben was trying to make things difficult for a run back. And... and guard the tap the on the just, stones uh, in the rings. And sometimes when you're sorry. looking for too much from a single stone, you might not and get get the, the key production that you needed. So with that stone over curling and sitting up a little bit high, uh, it gives an opportunity for Corey Dropkin with his final stone of the fourth end to really put DC and Dropkin in full control of the forefoot. Oh, this one is moving. It's a power sweep to get by the guard, and he rubs just the back side of the guard. And is this the help? <gasps> oh, and curling just like my. that. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe yeah. Taylor, we love the guard right now. Um, yeah, guard the run back. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, I think. Yeah. If you put a stone up there close to the rings, um, uh, the quarries will use whatever you like give that? them like, to make so. that I mean, run. Absolutely. The side, but that is just crazy curling round things, hitting round things with rotation on the ice. It is never predictable. Wait's good. Straight early. Push over and off. Gosh, Straight and good. I think that's where... One. Let's see. One we'll, let's listen in and see how their communication is here. Curl. So they look at the run back. Corey and Corey already know. See, so yeah. So, yeah, figured they'd play this, but the angle's you there. Like, you should have thrown a double guard there, or like maybe. I guess because this angle. Because they don't. Yeah, really I have anything I like here. the That's double good. guard on the run back because the angle was with the overlapping redstones. It was going to be hard for uh, this stone here to make the right contact in the button. But the run back, it's a pretty big target for the run back. Absolutely. They can manufacture a couple with the right hit. And there it is. Yeah. Great run back, super sweep. And red for two, I believe. Yeah. TC and drop can continue uh, with, uh, with their uh, dominant ways. Or them break. Be, yeah. Five to one, headed into the fourth end break. Let's say you're in high school and there's a sport you like, but sometimes you think, you know, it might be cool to try a new sport.
Twin Cities Orthopedics is ready to go with more doctors, specialty services, and convenient urgent care locations. Ready, set, TCO. And just after the fourth end break, which was brought to you by Warm Room Hero, the intuitive curling club software that takes the stress out of schedules, registrations, and more. Warm Room Hero, a platform built for curlers by curlers. Check out Warm Room Hero today at curling.club. And we are back, Richardson. Um, but with mixed doubles, all is possible. And you've got to wonder if, um, if, uh, we won't see a power play soon. You got to imagine. Absolutely. For those that don't know what a power play is, um, instead of setting up standard where your rocks are right down the middle, uh, we are going to go to the wings where their set stone in the house will be. Uh, splitting the eight foot and the 12 foot on the outside, just high of the T line. And then the guard will be also on that wing side covering that, uh, that rock. Uh, but power play most definitely expands the playing zone, takes the play to the outer wings um, and makes it a fun, fun event. In fact, it looks like, uh, is that Ben setting it up? Ben? Yeah. Is that, is that uh, what you're so, uh, you know, Mixed doubles having this option, you are allowed to exercise the power play. Pull, so pull the play to the wings when you have the last stone advantage. You can use it once in any game. And I think I love that uh, Ben and Taylor, the Anderson Richardson team, are electing to use it right now. They need to change things up a little bit. They are being kind of uh, uh, <laughs> dominated and manhandled inside that forefoot. So pulling play to the wings forcing DC and Dropkin to look at different angles, different shots, and give yourself that extra chance to maybe score a multiple point, tighten up that line score. And if you do it right and you execute out. I know which one you're referring to, Ann. But uh, yes, for those that didn't tune in earlier, uh, the Hamiltons did hang six on us, which is the team that Ann might be, may or may not be coaching. But um, the other, the other part of that is actually we also hung six on a team, uh, some very close ones. So we have seen two six enders, and uh, you've been part of all of them. But you know, I'm shooting 100 percent on six enders. Yeah, that's pretty extraordinary, um, and. Uh... I think, though, when uh, you have someone dialed in, like what Corey TC is right now, I think some people may argue with you, is the fifth end too early or is it too late, you know, with those things. But I think with how dialed in she is to uh, making her make a different shot than just a draw to the button or lock it in on that back one, I think is a great strategy by Taylor and Ben uh, just to kind of get some get some more rocks in play, see what, see what happens and see if these right. guys can execute. And also give yourself, you know, all things being equal, um, a, an open forefoot to score. Yeah. Um, so now, I mean, Corey TC made that tick on the on the corner guard. She ticked it right onto the rings. You can't remove a rock from play, but you can move them around. And your shooter can roll out, which is exactly what she did. Is incredible shot. So right there. So. There's Corey Drobkin playing that tick weight, that backline weight. He can't play a hit yet based on the rules of mixed doubles. Um, this is the first hit allowed, and Ben's going to do that, and it's going to put three of their rocks kind of well separated in the rings with a chance to hang on the, on the scoreboard. And these are going to be simpler shots, more open shots maybe for yep. Ben and Taylor. And I think that's why they – you know, they elect to play the opposing team without hammer elects to play that uh, tick shot. So then that way, um, anytime 
that they ex you're expanding the the scoring area, so to speak. You you want very little guards to have to manage in front of the house, uh, so that's the reason why that tick shot is so popular in mixed doubles. Uh, yeah. So then that way they can expand all the scoring area. Uh, fortunately for Ben and Taylor, Ben's rock over curling and uh, rolling out of play, they really very desperately needed to hold their shooter. So now we've got uh, Corey Drobkin is uh, going to work one of his favorite shots back into the repertoire. Yeah, there it is. Run back. It's coming up. Steps so, up, sweeping. And this is major peel weight. This is, uh, you know, seven and a half seconds hog to hog. And it over curls. What? What a speed to jump up and sweep that. So now Ben's got a chance for redemption, uh, right? Yeah. Hit and rolled out on his last one. It, a hit and roll back to the center of the rings. Hold your shooter. So just like that, roll, try and create some separation. I mean, so we saw how hard Corey Drobkin threw that rock. Ben Richardson, Taylor Anderson are trying to hit and roll to a place where there's no triple available. When you are trying to, one, score multiple points, <laughs> two, defend against the triple and the easy freeze, the run backs, the high execution, um, it's, uh, it's tough. So now... Um, the double to stick the shooter is long and it's across the rings. So likely uh, Corey and Corey will throw a double and the shooter will roll out. But uh, now the way things are set up, the goal of this end for Corey Drobkin and Corey TC is going to be to uh, limit the Yellowstones to scoring two. Well, another hard shot just misses the double um but i think that's also too like you know you got to play to your competition a little bit One right slower, is ben. um when you have someone like Corey dropkin able to throw that high um that high speed feel weight up weight firm weight whatever you want to call it just a hard hitter yeah. um you want to be able to avoid all those things and that's where another piece of the strategy comes into play is um, when you play against these guys that like to throw those high, uh, those high hits, um, you want to make sure that those rocks are separated out enough, put them up, make them choose which one Come that on. they're going to go after. And, you know, that way they can play uh, and try Keep to set line. up their two, three, maybe Whoa. even a four point end. Way's pretty good. Yeah. yeah so Ben Keep having to roll. switch Take gears, a Take a look. two hits We're just top eight. back Lower to curling. the draw. We're just like top 12, top eight. Okay, bring and it back, bring it back. Absolutely perfect. Okay. The doubles Thanks. are as <laughs> difficult as they come. As far as you can go. I mean, they are, those, those three yellow stones spread out into the 12 foot circle. So that blue circle, uh, that's the start of the scoring area. The Kalamazoo right. Curling Club Perfect. rings. Like you were. Yeah. So here's a here's a good question for you. If do you take the per a higher percentage shot here and you know and then settle for three, or do you try to do the run double and then you know I guess is the risk worth the reward right here in your opinion? Drawing for three. You know I. <laughs> you like uh. Your intern. intern. Yeah. So I think uh, I if well. I'd like to see them play the hit and roll here um, and force Taylor to navigate a hit with some traffic in the back of the rings. But uh, they've seen the line for the double. This is the third stone in a row. So knowing these guys, they will get it. Got and it. They do. Oh, my gosh. And what a shot. 
she is making absolutely everything. That is unbelievable. What nice a shot. shot. What one Corey was not able to accomplish, <laughs> the second and last Corey was able to do so with ease. She threw that just great. But now this is the opportunity that Taylor and Ben were trying to set up a multiple point score. Yep. Mine's good. Mission okay. uh, mission accomplished if you're, you know, Taylor and Ben. They it's uh, running like are, it's heavy. I mean, it's right back in this mixed doubles we just talked about. As long as it sticks around, get your Yeah, Taylor up. stopping at the midway point of the sheet is not bringing confidence. Okay. Squirt gun, squirt gun, squirt gun, squirt gun. So, I think they're all right. Nice yep. take. Yeah. Two points. You can Two use yellow. all of that 12 foot <laughs> space and. Uh, the final stone for Anderson Richardson comes to rest in the back eight foot. Right. And our, they get yeah. two points. The score is now PC Dropkin five, Anderson uh, Richardson two. Two yellow. Two. Two yellow. Yeah. Um, and an inch from three, right? Yeah. What? Yeah. I kind of like the old. No. Is that okay? That's totally fine with me. The everyday person may not aspire to be a professional athlete or an Olympic athlete, you may just want to be the best person you can be. You just may want to sleep better. You may want to feel better. Thorne has many products that can support all of those things. So it's not just about performing or running faster or jumping higher. It's those little things that go into having a higher quality of life. Thanks to our friends at Floor Curl, USA Curling member clubs are entitled to a 20% discount on any Floor Curl inflatable rink set. These rinks only take a minute to inflate or deflate and are a perfect way to promote your club. At summer festivals, events, or anywhere you have a flat surface, no ice required. Visit usacurling.floorcurl.com and use the promo code FC Inflatable 20 valid until March 12th. So here we are. We're in the sixth end. Uh, the score is actually five to three. And goal for Anderson Richardson is clear. It, it, they're they, up against the back. Their backs close. are against the wall right whoa, here. They got to gotta force or potentially no. even steal. The way it's pretty good. Um, Looks heavy. The same, you know, the same rules apply here, or the same rule of thumb. Let's put it that way. It's a curl. Uh, applies here that it does in the Always four curl. person game. Always Is that any time that you can control hammer <laughs> in those okay. last two? Jeez. If you can have hammer in two out of three really ends, really or score in those last, you know, six, seven, and eight, or anything like that, those are that's always a good position to be in. So any score here in the six will be a victory for both teams, whether it's one for Anderson Richardson, or even Corey and Corey are happy with one here in the six. I've, I would have to imagine being up three and may and have the ability to maintain hammer going into eight. Yeah, so uh, the shot from Richardson was really good and in a super controlled position, so uh. Dropkin uh, elects to just peel the guard so to remove all traffic from in front of the rings. So there's nothing to hide behind. So now Taylor and Ben, they're going to guard and they're kind of guarding for their life. I mean, this scoring in the sixth end is going to be so critical. Uh, and that's that's why they're both making these decisions. But One needs some place to hide. The other team uh, needs a wide open field of play. Absolutely. They, so Two. it's uh, and I then checking it. in around the rink. Uh, Mulaney Sinnott. Well, good. They're up by four. Well, good. Playing the sixth. Well, and uh, our feature sheet. We well, know what's going on there. It looks okay. And uh, on sheet D, 
Nickel and Nickel is still up. They're up 6-2 over Podal and Perry. Boy, that curls. And a really tight battle. Um, it was 4-4 four, four on Sheet E. Yeah, they just posted that score, though. It looks like Sheet E, Strauss, Casper, maybe, with like, three. That's what it looks like. So now they're up 7-4. I think four. I like one more. And then Podal Perry coming through with a steal on the nickel nickel power play. So now it's six to three. How about right. a steal on the power play? That's yeah. doing work. Yeah, that is. So. Uh, so here's a here's a great question for you. I know we're throwing around you and I. We just talked about it, right. Like people always assume that we always assume that people know what we're talking about doing all this stuff, <laughs> but. How about just for beginner curlers, in like, what would be your best suggestion uh, for new curlers, uh, someone that's just starting the game, that's just Where? starting to fall in love Wait's with good. the sport that you've deeper, dominated for so long? I need to curl. <laughs> a little deeper. Um, uh, Three. My advice for new curlers. <laughs> okay, so I, I would say um, Three. have the time of your life out there. I Three. mean, really, it is so fun to play Five this Three. game. Whoa, 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 uh, whoa, whoa. No matter what level you're at, you can compete. Um, now, a couple of tricks to competing and competing well at your level. Uh, there are no points in curling for sliding. There are no points for sliding, Tony. Um, uh, there are only points for rock placement. So my tip for all of the new curlers out there, and thank you for tuning in, um, would be to let go of the rock when you are still in control of your slide. So if that's three feet in front of the hack, or if it's uh, you know 12 or all the way What's to that? the hog line, uh, so be it. But let go of the rock um, while you're in control, and you'll be able to get better and better with each mine? stone. No, I'm done. And the other thing, keep asking questions. I I was just gonna say I think that that's one thing that this that this sport is fantastic about is everyone's willing to share a knowledge that they have just to get better. Especially just like Corey and Corey here, dropping knowledge on these guys and about to put another one on the yeah. lid. And look at this, just the uh, back four weight tap to sit, I think one and two completely covered. Mm. But the way this ice curls. It, that is true. Very doable. You just saw Ben give the, just give the, this, the, the motion of just like, I, this is it. This is what we got, I think. And man, another, another clutch shot by Corey Dropkin. You know, you hate to, you hate to just keep singing his high praises, but at the same time, when the guy is just making shot after shot, it's hard. It's hard not to. Yeah. So this sheet though, I mean, this, uh, this a clockwise rotating shot, it really curls once you get past the hog line on the far end. So I think if Taylor were to try the back eight to back line shot, she could get, she could cross that stone on the button and uh, maybe sit back one line. and two. Close. Space. Very possible. Whoa. Space. Whoa. Clean. Space. So Whoa. she's got the Girl. right weight. Yep. And we'll see it. We'll see it go Girl. here. Look Whoa, at this. Street. They, street. Yeah. Street. You got to be careful. Street. Oh, no. And there is that spot in the ice. We saw so much curl, so much movement. And Good throw, just a little bit of an error on the line call and how the they manage that rock down the sheet. Um, and that's where I think that you get uh, the advantage of I'm not saying that, I mean, Obviously, both of these teams are still first year together and doing all that stuff. You, uh, I was trying you don't to want to ever, uh, we got on the inside, it, we you know, assume that, you know, the communication is not there or anything like that. But when your team is put under pressure, just like what Taylor, Taylor no, and Ben are, um, like you wonder if the there's a change in that communication, like that demeanor or anything like that. Here but here. you can tell their coaches most definitely. Uh, <laughs> And yeah. inspe inspected and looking over, and then same with is it, that's Kathy, right? Kathy yeah. Overton Clapham is the coach for yeah. uh, DC Corey, Corey. and yeah. Dropkin, and Wayne Anderson, Taylor's father, is the coach for Anderson and Richardson. So eight to 
And this is a, a hammer. You know, you've got to think this is uh, close to a game winning opportunity here for Corey and Corey. A draw into the forefoot. Hold the angle, guarantee that you're. Oh. 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 It's one. It ends up being just one, I think. Yeah. I think it's just one. I think you got to measure. Nope. <laughs> I think that red is closer that Corey just tapped. Take I think it's worthy of a measure, though. You know what? I mean, that was the first time yeah, all game I mean, I, that I Corey and Corey have been right? quiet. Looking at the outside. And Great point. And we'll they these. did not. They did not. I think they thought Great. they were going to make it. Sounds good. Yeah. They just thought I'll they measure. were going to make it, that they had it. And they got really quiet. And sometimes when you're quiet, you one? miss the opportunity yeah. to call the line. And I didn't hear a wait call. Um, That's a great point. As, as they come down, you know, normally you can hear them shouting out. Uh, where they think that the rock is going to land. Um, and that's something that they've been doing all game. Um, yeah. Just to your point, like for some reason, that particular sure. yeah, shot, one or they two. did not, uh, they were not as uh, verbal as well, so, what they've been throughout the I whole I honestly game. thought it was us until you said something. I was like, oh, it's actually close. Still think it's red, though. Yeah, I think it's still I learned, red, learned it from Luke Violet. But, uh, <laughs> We're about to find out yeah. Conrad coming through. <laughs> yeah. Level two USA curling instructor calling out Conrad right here. There. If yellow. there's someone that's going to be able to determine. Oh. Yeah. oh so. So. He didn't move it, no. Ask cool. him for the remeasure. Yeah, and you're allowed to see it again, see the dial. Um, now what should happen is Conrad should reset the dial, not use the same, but that's okay. Going through it. He was obviously pretty confident in, in his measure. Still, okay. good on Conrad, good job. So, so it ends up being only a single point there. So the score after six ends of play is gonna be uh, one red, yep. six to three in favor of the Quarries. That has to be a, a small victory for Anderson Agree. and Richardson. They'll have the hammer when we play seven. Just because you're not a professional athlete doesn't mean that you should accept less. The beauty about what Thorn does is our product quality is the same whether they're in the athletic line or whether they're just for the everyday person. Thorn has kept true to never compromising on quality, never compromising on efficacy, never compromising on safety for not only athletes but for everyone who would use their products. Warm Room Hero is more than just software. It's run by curlers dedicated to building long-term relationships with your club. Warm Room Hero provides continuous support to ensure your website exceeds your members' expectations. Check out Warm Room Hero today at curling.club for special event pricing. So, uh... We're sitting in the warm room at the Kalamazoo Curling Club, uh, overlooking uh, a lot of incredible curling action. And it's the seventh end, our feature matchup. Corey TC with her super high performing ways draws right on the button. Unbelievable. And I love that shot. I mean, so yeah. often uh, we're putting the rock all the way back to the stone that is preset in the back of the forefoot. Now this stone sitting bisecting the T-line across the house requires uh, Richardson and Anderson to move that stone. 
in order to be shot stone. Oh, and uh, the, there we go. We're up in the warm room. What? Hi, everybody. We've got a pretty nice view of the seventh end. It's right in front of us. All the fans up here on the, along the glass. Um, I, I got to say, in the Kalamazoo Curling Club, just coming through in the clutch, you know, hosting this particular event, um, the whole entire town as, as a whole is actually, um, I don't know if you've been out, but they've, at, you know, we've run into a couple of different restaurants and bars and stuff that have actually known that yeah, like we are here. Uh, we had the mayor here for opening ceremonies, which is pretty great. Um, so they've just embraced the whole entire curling culture, and it's, uh, it's been a great facility, great host. Yeah, well, I mean, this is just their most recent extraordinary performance here in Kalamazoo, Touché. right? I mean, they started hosting national championships for USA Curling as far back as 2010. And uh, this, the Wings Event Center is a really great um, series of ice rinks. We have been in three of the ice rinks, all Shot. three here for national championships. Um, mind being and uh, here this now. ice rink was yeah. converted, uh, you know, many years ago into a dedicated kind of curling club. And it's, yeah. I think it's we've just here. a great, great spot. If I'm a little and, short of it, that's okay. Uh, was 2010 the year you won? Uh, I did win in 2010. Yeah, yeah, yeah I did. Along with did. the other five or whatever, four. <laughs> How many did you win total? Five. I, you know, I don't, I don't remember. You lie like I a don't rug. remember. I've got to <laughs> add in. Uh, now that I play on the Champions Tour, uh, the senior. Okay. Uh, senior nationals. Um, uh, yeah, so I've added a couple of titles there. I've got some club nationals. I, I, I love playing. I love being in curling clubs, and I love watching. Uh, I like the weight. You know, Where? these, these amazing athletes. I never Wait's played good. mixed doubles. I never. It wasn't. It wasn't around Whoa. during. Uh, Wait's good. But I think it would be it's one well. of the most fun ways to Small kind of tap. get involved in the sport. Small and tap. Whoa, straight. Whoa, 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 whoa. How did you get involved in mixed doubles? No, that's a great question. You know, uh, just through one of the fun events that Rock Creek does is uh, it's called social curling. And um, I got introduced to the sport by my men's club team skip, Andy Carl. He uh, here we go. With a yeah, I'm going to take a time out yeah. on your on your story because uh, we got a time out so we can discuss some strategy here. We're well, let's yeah, see. So each team is given one timeout per game that they yep. can utilize. Their coach comes to the ice surface. It's Kathy Overton Clapham. And I think we may have lost the microphones on Corey and Corey. Yeah. So I think, you know, they might be able to pick it up. <laughs> Isn't that how curling works? <laughs> yeah, so. Yeah. How to win in curling 101. They're talking about doing the run back, so. Yeah, I think there's a couple different options. I think the run is, I think, the preferred option just because it still leaves the guard. Um, but at the same time, you know, that a misplaced run right here can set, uh, can, can cause some serious damage to, uh, to the red stones. Yeah. Um, I, I, I mean, so the idea is how do you manage the angles? Right? Like, how do you take control Helps. and then ultimately have the hits, best yeah. point of control after throwing your last rock? The, back red. the way the angles are right now, yeah, it is the out. angles are in favor of Anderson Richardson. They have control and they are being held in the rings by uh, TC and Dropkins rocks. So uh, this is a little risky electing to play the run back, but going with. Big shot. Uh, their strength and their kind of point of confidence. An absolute missile from Corey Dropkin looking to run back that yes. stone. Then they settle for the peel, which which probably is, I mean, that's the miss, right? I mean, yeah. if you yeah. want to do the run back, that's fine. A, like you know, double. based on, we, we didn't hear all yeah, their conversation, the but that the might have been the elected shot that they do. Now. So then that way it can set it up for the next one because you know that they, they still yeah, have options yeah even, and i mean the theory for when you have the lead is you want to pull yellows. the play into the rings like you want to pull the play into the rings Literally. limit the limit the, this one, I'd the obstacles out far. in front of the rings yep 
We could call our so timeout now too. Richardson and Anderson, oh, they, and they see how critical this exact moment is and that there is potential for them to completely catch up in the score I mean, we could, we could line agree. this up really now good these guys i think we're getting the mics red. on these guys let's see if we can hear it and then we roll the shooter somewhere over here yeah so i have two more left I think he died. Is he, he, they, they decide to go with the peel, right? Yeah. You still have your guard, and you can either draw to the trigger button or tap. tap yeah, tap. and also if we guard, if we guard, straight guard that red, or like just air on that left side yeah. a little bit, we're okay showing them that side because it's always favoring us. And I think you're going to get a peel out of them if you throw the guard. Right? Yeah, they've played their cards oh, a little bit. Oh, now it's a little cat and mouse, right? Yeah. Like trying to anticipate. Okay. What okay. your opposition so doesn't want, do yep. yeah, like so I think forcing them like into something. So um, right here, like yep. it's okay I think that's a uh, that, that just comes into that yep. classic and, just and center predator line is okay and prey too. mode. Yep. Like yep. if you turn your if you throw this perfect guard intern, right here, you're gonna force their better. hand into either a throwing the same shot that they just threw, or b doing something fancy and just you know make a game changer and then. And that's also the sport of curling too. Like, if your opponent goes in and makes one of those great shots, like just give them a golf clap and say, "Good right. curling." <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I mean, it's a non-interference sport, right? Like, we, you know, I guess if we could throw a, you know, a body block or a check in there, right? Like, you're allowed one check at per game. Uh, that's what we're yeah. talking about. Let's get it. Let's do that. <laughs> Uh, then we all want to be on Jared Allen's team. Yeah, halfway. amen to that. I was just going to say, Jared Allen, nobody's going to want to play Corey the way that he skates down the ice. Just halfway. Take out whoever stands in his way. Yeah, this is a good, good guard here. Yeah, checking is not allowed in curling. Um, so Not yet. Ben's going to use his next best option, which is guarding. I burned it right at the end there. Thanks. Slightly overcurled. Um, wow. Leaving that I, open. I, 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 we just had a pretty extraordinary exchange. So Ben was sweeping his own rock. He touched it. So one of the great things about the sport of curling is you call your fouls on yourself. Ben said, I touched it. It's a burned rock. So now it's up to Corey and Corey as to what happens to that stone. And both uh, PC and Dropkin said it's fine. It was going to be there. You didn't down, significantly <laughs> alter its path or change its outcome. Um, really just great sportsmanship on from both teams in that moment because it's such a hard moment when you when you commit a foul like that might have to run on my so now and the cat and mouse game continues uh, I think these guys have elected to kind of guard on this side that was the danger Did. of throwing the guard yep. um, I think you needed it to be really really tight to the rings for Ben Sounds like they're just coming down to that just to protect against their own run back. Just to set up some angles for their final stone. So now I kind of like the run because it's just automatically going into that, right? Yeah, yeah did they just set that this, up? It might drag a little bit this way, bring this back and kill that one. Okay, what turn do you like? I think I'm seeing the out turn. Okay. No, well, this is pretty you, close. Now you got to think that maybe Hair Corey and side. Corey heard him oh, talk wait, about, yeah. like, when Ben was saying, you know, they kind of showed their cards and anticipating what they were doing. You know, Corey and Corey said, hold my beer. We're going to come into the house. <laughs> <laughs> uh, real quick while we're waiting on Ben, uh, that Strauss, Casper, Anderson, Stopera game tied up 7-7. Seven, seven. It's the exchange of threes. And they are in the seventh end playing their power play. Uh, Strauss Casper playing their power play. Whoa. So and keep posted on that. Whoa. The power Whoa. play for Anderson Richardson is the run back right now. And oh, just, they hit just a hair mm. high and uh, drive the object rock completely past that pile of stones in the well. center of the rings. Yeah. It thought it would curl a little bit more. I just didn't, yeah. It, it did but it's, it is open, and I think the angles are there 
That doesn't do for a multiple for point score. I think if they're guarding, we play that same thing. Might be a little tough because now. Because I think we can potentially make it for two. Okay. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> maybe. So Corey and Corey yeah, need to guard. Maybe. We see the scores. We've got we've got a final. Uh, Mulaney Sinnott, eleven to five, win over. Book out and Weeza. Yeah, I think the run's the only thing, right? I think so. Yeah, only thing for potentially more than one. Potal Perry game in the eighth. I don't see any risk. We're, we're always at least scoring. Uh, we're trying to hit like low side of that red, right? Like, coming down to the wire as well. Pretty much knows, I think. Hitting a little bit on my right side. So that sweep is to curl as much as possible, drag that rock as far, tighten up control of the angles. I think nose is close. Nose is close Slow too. Up, right? Yeah, and they're I think hoping. So. Out turn. Out turn. Yeah. I mean, there's still, there's still shot. Yeah, but is they know they need. They know they need more. more they're hoping that there is a drag effect and that they can somehow get two. Like get two, and maybe I don't think I oh. two's too tough. Um, Just I like a sliver on this side. Three is possible. These stones are really active. No, they're super lively, ice, especially on the C yeah, sheet. Uh, that's where we pl actually played Hamilton Hamilton this morning. As you know, um, any sort of pop on these, and those stones are flying. And let's see what yeah. kind of pop Taylor Anderson has. Uh, right. Just It almost picked right out of her oh, hand. Yes. Did not Three like minutes. that one bit. One red or yellow. All right. Uh, no production out of that, but uh, the upside is they did score a point. It is now, uh, they've now pulled within two. Oh, DC and drop again. One yellow. The everyday person may not aspire to be a professional athlete or an Olympic athlete. You may just want to be the best person you can be. You just may want to sleep better. You may want to feel better. Thorn has many products that can support all of those things. So it's not just about performing or running faster or jumping higher. It's those little things that go into having a higher quality of life. And welcome back to the eighth and uh, ostensibly final end of our feature matchup tonight. DC and Dropkin have elected to employ their power play. They've got hammer. They have held it to this eighth and final end. Move the play off to the side of the sheet. Try to open up the center of the ice as much as possible. Anderson and Richardson, they need to steal two points in order to tie this game and force an extra end. So that shot, trying to draw to the wings, trying to use whatever guard is available for them. They came up a little bit short on Taylor Anderson's first shot. Okay, probably just another draw. Yep. Now you're not allowed to hit yet. So Corey and Corey, uh, for the first time, it's a, they've got double sweeping. 
trying to drag the stone right to the forefoot. Yeah. Maybe trying to put it a little deeper. Um, Do you like this or this? Yep. I like around our, our yellow. Again, shrink the rings for the opposition steel, but keep it wide open for yourself uh, down into the forefoot. And that's like a practice draw for Corey. Yep. She may have that draw um, against a couple of rocks under, under cover or... Mine's good. Ways close. You know, when, when push Copy. come to shove, when these right, later girl. ends, what you're... What you're looking for is something we like to call epic views, right? Something that where you can just see like those that. stones completely Three. wide open to where drag you it, are man, able it. to make a play on any Hard one of those um, and just, you know, sit in the hack, be cool, and just make the shot, make it now. Well, so us Flatlanders here in the Midwest, oh, we, yeah. don't, we don't often get epic views. Uh, yeah. That must be a Colorado thing. I yeah. like it. Yeah, you're welcome. You, you can use that one. You're yeah, welcome. that will come into play. So the epic view here for Corey Dropkin is a relatively routine double takeout. Um, we'll see how yeah. how how fast he throws it. He. Oh yeah, let's get a clock on this. We got we got a stopwatch, maybe. Oh, yeah, you got one? I've always Working? got a stopwatch. Uh, you always got a stopwatch. I walk around the universe with a stopwatch in my pocket. The time mm. things like the yeah. line in the grocery store, how long how long <laughs> it takes to to set at a light. Um, it is a, a curler's habit. Um, and uh, for all you curlers at home, you know, you can run the stopwatch while you're on the sofa. All you got to do is start it right now when Corey's yeah, Rock like crosses the hog line. And the camera likely gives six, you eight. a view right there. It's a six-second hog to hog. Which is fast. I, I, <laughs> it is. I mean, that's, that's moving. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it is fast, but he too. that's yep. not his max weight. Uh, he throws, uh, I think, a sub throw. six for sure. Sub or six, ben. so sub six seconds. Ben. So the shorter the time, faster the rock. So, you yeah, can we like go back to that it? new curler conversation real quick? I know, but we if have to hope for a stop. Curler, and then we play that. You do not need yeah. to throw a six second rock. You can, you know, I mean, there, yes. Are there times that may call for it? Sure, I understand that. But a good, just normal weight, firm weight, nine-second rock is probably is maximum ice. because what the thing here. that people don't I realize is that yeah, Corey is more. so controlled and so in between. Um, yep. always in the hack, coming out at those high rates of speeds for a new curler, uh, just like what you were saying. Anytime that you got control of your slide, right, then that's when you want to let go of the rock. Um, you know, those max weights at nine seconds, you know, between hog to hog. A little more weight. Like. Yeah, this is, uh, this is a lot like golf, right? You, you hit for show D -line. D -line. and you putt D -line. for dough. Uh, curling, you know, the hit oh, is no. a huge Three. weapon. I mean, that high powered oh, shot oh, yeah, for all of go. these players is a huge weapon. But it's ultimately, good. it is the finesse shots, the touch weight, the draw Just weight. like that. Putting your rocks into scoring positions um, in like a subtle way it, that is uh, well, we you know, just as powerful. Yeah, and <laughs> if they miss this one, they could jam it or stuff it, and then we play but, it. Uh, yeah, but we have to sit too. We are not going to see a delicate shot here. No, no ma'am. This uh, is, I mean, we, we're we probably not going to see a delicate shot the rest of the night from Corey. I mean, the way that this is lining up. But, um, yeah. Here in Kalamazoo, I mean, this place is just straight Either set way, up for a just for a heavy I hit. The best here it comes. Would be somewhere over here. Yeah, I imagine another. Oh, that might be a little bit more than six. Oh, yeah, you dialed back the weight a little bit. This is going to be close to about seven seconds. Yeah. Maybe allow a bit of the shape of the ice. It was about seven, seven seconds and a bit there. We can freeze here, but then they have this. Again, look at how wide open your I epic view really is available there. There for it is. Corey and Corey. Yeah. Um, still. That's true. Uh, Why just go here then? Ben and Taylor have a chance to put some can pressure we can, on like, that. Tuck up here. Yeah, they can do it. I want to be out counting it at least. You know, I think this is where you know coming down to this these last couple stones on a power play. This is where that finesse comes into play. Freeze down onto one of those stones to where you're trying to make it as difficult as possible to 
Uh, remove a yellow stone one. while you are I'm okay uh, with this, while you though. don't have hammer and you're trying to steal points at that point in time. <laughs> good line. You have to be behind the tee. Okay. Where is it? Wade's good. Where? So a huge Top shot four. here. Great. It's uh. Mine's fine. Ben's final shot of the eighth oh. end. He said he really wanted to be in shot position. And it comes up a little bit short. And this oh, is man, a... That's two, second, third. Yeah. Man, they're not uh, even close. Corey and Corey have a chance to hit and sit. Count four. So four stones closest to the center of the button before uh, Anderson <laughs> Richardson has uh, their stone in the top of the 12 foot. Yeah. Three hits right along the same line for Corey Dropkin on his last rocks of this game. And it's an open hit. Uh, is Let's there, play this. Is there and maybe it gets that one. Like paper chance for Yeah. I mean the main thing is just playing <laughs> this double. Yeah, good I luck. think it, it I mean, goes right onto here, but I think we have to hit it like a hair off nose. To get two. I mean uh, to but if we're sit, not getting that one. To sit in a position where you're Well, I guess we can just roll I maybe. Just Do we need to get that one? I don't yeah, know. No, let's play so this. they're trying to hit I like that double on the right. Yeah. Angle we maybe direct to the back stone yeah. on the back of the forefoot. You like the, the shooter and be count one and intern. two. Intern. And they take okay. a look at the clock. Good There's peel. 22 seconds left. That's plenty of time for what would be the greatest shot of her life. <laughs> this Whoa. is a. Especially this tournament. No doubt. Really tough. Do something cool. Get it. Oh. Ah, okay. No. Good game, guys. And with nice. that. Good luck. Handshakes. Good game, Corey. Good luck. Corey. Corey TC does not have to throw the final stone. Uh, handshakes happen, and they have the victory. I didn't think anything was really there. Over on GE, though, a quick update. We got Strauss Casper up 9 7 with Anderson Stopero with, with deal, Hammer. And, and there is a plethora of rocks in the house over there. So who knows what's going on? Just one minute. But uh, yeah, we'll see what keeps you posted on that one. Yeah, so we've got three finals. Uh, one game still in action. And there's the final. It I'm is like official. Corey, Corey TC, oh, Corey Dropkin oh, take the win six to four over Taylor Anderson and Ben Richardson. There you go. The, the Corys, as they are affectionately known, the way, um, okay, they take the victory. Um, we are going to feature in tomorrow's game Kim Rhyme and Jason Smith versus Eileen Deving and John Schuster. And that is a pretty key matchup. Both those teams so. still fully in the running for the playoffs. They will hit their sixth game of the round robin tomorrow morning. And okay. here are the standings for Pool 2. Uh, remember, we still have one game in action on the ice. DC and Dropkin, they continue their winning ways. They sit at 5-0 and in firm control of this second pool. Uh, the battle between Anderson, Supera, Strauss, Casper yet to be decided. They're playing the eighth end. And in Pool 1, who we'll see on the ice tomorrow, Persinger Plies, 5-0 and atop the pool. And then we've got a log jam. Geving, Schuster, Hamilton, Hamilton, Rhyme, Smith. And then don't count out Burr, Burr, Fountain, and Tony Cott, my co-host, and Moore's Wheeler, all at 2-3. and three. Everything to play for still Dang. in uh, pool number one. It is a great championship. The winner of this event goes on to represent USA curling at the World Championship. My name is Ann Swisshelm, and I was joined by Tony Cott tonight, and it was a 
fantastic game. Tony, thank you so it, much and for pleasure. being on the mic tonight. I, I promise you the pleasure was all mine. If uh, my curling career ends up one-tenth of what yours was, um, not one-tenth, how about one-twentieth? I think there's how many, I mean, well, you're lying to me when you when As you I was know. reminded by Rich Rahonen, I am a thousand years old and have been playing forever. <laughs> uh, Richie, we'll see you on the Champions Tour next week. You are now officially old as well. Um, <laughs> hey, shout out to Rich and those young bucks, though, that were those young boys that were over at U.S. Nationals this year. Those guys put up a, a huge fight, um, you know, trying to take on all those top teams. They did. They, they threw out some great stones. In fact, Sam Strauss, who's coaching Strauss Casper, who's in a dogfight right now coming in the eighth end. Yeah, it's a, it's a pretty extraordinary event, and we're pretty lucky to be here. Uh, with great curling, great curlers, and um, an amazing broadcast team bringing all of the action to you. The everyday person may not aspire to be a professional athlete or an Olympic athlete. You may just want to be the best person you can be. You just may want to sleep better. You may want to feel better. Thorne has many products that can support all of those things. So it's not just about performing or running faster or jumping higher. It's those little things that go into having a higher quality of life.